Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this using the new magic light extension in Luminar Neo. It's a very specific kind of tool, something that you won't use on every image, but when you do need it, it's gonna come in really handy and it's easy to use and I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing in this video. I've also got a special surprise at the end of the video for you. So you know the drill, like, subscribe, roll the intro. Okay, so these are the two images we're gonna work with, slightly different images that'll kind of give us a, a little better overview of what the software is capable of. So um, why don't we start with this one, this kind of a European alleyway here, very warm um, with all the lights. I think it looks really nice. So let's see what this extension will do. So let's first off just make a copy of that layer. So we're working on our own, call that Neo, and let's jump on in. Okay, so here we are in Luminar Neo, and up here in this extras is where you will find a list of all these different extensions that they have and how to install them. Here's the magic light right here that we're gonna take a look at. Once you have gotten them through this interface, then uh, you can come and find them over here. And so we'll just switch to edit, and then right here we've got magic light. So we will click on this, going to open up this box here and let's take a look at what we've got going. Now as you know what I like to do typically is push these to the max to really show you what they do. Um, just looking up here really quickly you've got the adjustments and then you've got masking so we do have the ability to go in and say add it here and here maybe we don't want these to have the effect or we didn't want whatever uh, you can mask things in and out we'll probably just do the straight effect to everything here for consistency, but just so you know, you can come back in here and mask things in or out. So, starting with the here, with this first slider, which is the intensity, and as we start taking it across, you're gonna start seeing, here is our little magic light starburst effect. And so that is a very extreme effect of it. And, you know, you're just gonna kinda go through and decide, but I'm gonna keep it up so we can really see what's happening. Keep it there about 90 or so. So size, as you can see here, is the size of kind of the overall, not the beams, but the almost the globe of light, the glow around it. As you can see, the size going up and down. Beam width is where it's going to affect those beams, whether they're really broad, super pinpoint, almost like a star. Slide that around a little bit. Here's the glow which is very much like that size. It is more focusing on the glow there itself, but you know you can see that the whole lightness darkness thing, really I think the size kind of does a very similar thing. I think the glow is just probably more focusing on the bulb itself. So here's your clearness. Again, looking at these streaks, uh, whether they are clean lines or we almost can't even tell what they are. Brightness, pretty easy, how light or dark they are. Number of beams, which is kind of cool. It's, you know, you can come down to just four. Let's leave it on four for right now. Let's get this a little clearer where we can see them. Then what you can do is use this rotation to spin them around, which is pretty cool as well. So you've got a lot of customization that you can do here. Let's look at our before and after. And, you know, I think this magic light is probably one that really begs to be used with presets because there's so much you can do in here that if you are doing a lot of this type of stuff, you're probably going to get your own idea of what looks good. You know, you may say, like, I, I like to have eight of those beams rotated about like that. I think that's too bright. You can kind of dial it in to what you think is... Um, a really good light, say you like that right there. Come on down here and just save this, save as a preset. And then you can call that magic light one or whatever you want, it'll show up in your presets. So that next time, if you wanna come in and work on just adding that light, you can do it. But that is basically how it's gonna work through here. Pretty cut and dry. You can either just open up this effect and go with what it has here or dial it in exactly how you like it. So you really have a lot of customization 
and almost kind of fries your brain a little bit because you're like, well, I just wanted a Starburst. I don't know exactly what kind I want. But this kind of allows you to try different things and decide on the look that you like. So I think that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and apply this one and grab that other image. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and open up Magic Light. Yeah, we can start bringing this intensity across. Now we've got a lot more lights here, which is going to make things interesting to see um, how that affects what you want to do. You know, this one almost to me makes more sense to have the intensity up a little higher. So kind of play around with this. I'm going to go through and just kind of dial. I'm going with a little bit softer beams this time because there's the snow everywhere. I think that would make sense. It would be a little more of a glow, not as clear. Maybe you can bring down the brightness a little bit. I kind of like that how it is. Rotate those around till it catches your eye. Maybe about like that. Let's look at the before and after. And there you go. With this magic light, one of the things that I've found is I tend to go through in order like this until I think I've got it how I want it. And then I come back to the intensity and then dial that up or down because sometimes after you've made all those tweaks, you decide, you know what, it's just too much. But I kind of like that right about there. And again, so compared to that, definitely has much more of a glow and atmosphere to it. Now, this is one where you might want to go in, for example, with the masking and say, well, it's kind of blinding the top of these people. You could come in here with a brush, set it to erase, and just kind of clean them out just a touch. And I think that kind of helps to see them a little bit more. So that you can use that masking if you need to clean things up, but I think that's pretty good and it's pretty simple to use. So let's jump back into Photoshop real quick and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this layer. All right, so we're back in here, up here we've got Neo, Magic Light. And again, this is where you would save that preset. If you were making presets out of these, I would go ahead and rename this to uh, whatever the name was uh, of the preset that you did. But we're on here, so I love having it, especially with a, a filter like this, I love having it on its own layer because this is one where you may come back and, and decide that it's too much of an effect and just bring down that opacity. Um, kind of do the same thing here, decide, you know what, I think we went a little overboard, pull it back a little bit and make it a little more realistic. So that's how you would work with those things and it, it's pretty simple to use. Now, by the way, when you are on the Luminar website, there is a discount code you can use, Larry Photo. And uh, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't, depends on what things are on sale and which products they're using it on, but it's certainly worth trying when you check out, try that Larry Photo. Uh, discount code and sometimes it'll give you a, a little bit of a discount on the price so every little bit helps like I said it's not always going to work but sometimes it does so it's worth a try and there you go this new extension really does make it easy to get that starburst effect and uh, again it's not something you're going to use in all your images but when you want that look it's a great way of getting it so I hope that helps and I hope to see you in the next video take care bye bye